This is a demonstration of what I want you to do for project five. Notice I'm in my photo merge. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to browse through some files that I'm going to be using. Uh, let's see where my files might be. I think they are on my desktop under, nope, that's not where they at. Lesson files, lesson five. I'm just going to go ahead and reuse the assignment files. So I have about four of them. The assignment calls for at least five images of panorama. Notice how the, each image overlaps with the other image in this particular assignment. When you're creating these images, do not select content aware field transparent areas. I actually want you to do it manually. Uh, there's a reason to my madness. Click OK. So now this is the image that you get. Notice each particular layer that you have. Go ahead and when you have all the layers selected, I'm holding down the shift key, selected the last one, selected the first one, click on the folder. And there's the original group that you're gonna create. Then reselect them and let's go ahead and duplicate layers. There's the copies. I'm gonna take the copies and I'm going to move it on top of this group. The reason I want you to have this group is I wanna see the work that was done by the computer because we will not see the work once we flatten this copies. The reason we're flattening those copies is so we can have one image that we can work with in order to do a content aware fill. Uh, it will be difficult for us to do a content aware fill when the images are the different uh, layers of images. So we're gonna go ahead and notice only the ones that I'm gonna flatten are visible. I'm gonna go right click and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say merge visible and all of them become one file. Now, we can use the magic wand tool to select the area, the, the, the checkerboard pattern that we're going to use for a quick content aware fill, excuse me. Edit, content aware fill. It gives you the, the, the selection of the content aware fill. Go ahead and agree to that. Click OK, and there is our content aware fill. Control D to deselect the selected areas, and there is our image. Now, I also asked you to use a, a tool, a text tool, to go ahead and type in your name anywhere on the image. Any font, any color, so it's visible and I can see it. So right now it's not very visible. So I'm going to go ahead, use white. I'm gonna just select some fonts. Have fun with this part for sure. Um, sample, very nice. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. Oh, that's too large. A little bit obnoxious there, a little bit smaller. There we go. And I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this particular one. Let me do an arc, right? Let me do an arc in the other direction. Mm. Let me see what I can do. There's an arc. I'm just gonna follow the rail. See that rail? I'm just gonna follow the rail. See if I can follow the rail pretty well with my arc. There we go. It's not perfect yet, but it will be. Click OK. And let me see, tool, edit, free transform. I'm just gonna go ahead and tilt it just a little bit. 
just like that. And commit. And there is my name that is closely following this curve of this rail. I modified it, I tree transformed it a little bit. And I'm gonna save the file, file save as. Where's my save as? Did you guys see a save as? There we go, there, save as. And of course, it's gonna be project underscore five underscore Podransky, right? And basically, I'm gonna save it on my desktop so I, I can see it where it's at. And notice some people had trouble saving uh, to a different file format. Uh, save type should be PSD Photoshop. It shouldn't be any of these TIFFs or JPEGs. It should be the Photoshop type, and that will get you to save the file correctly. Hit save. And the file is gonna say, um, give you uh, compatibility uh, options. I'm just gonna click okay and my file and my project is done. Now, I'm only, the only reason I use the existing images is because I didn't have a camera with me at the moment that I'm trying to, I'm here in my office and I just needed some images that overlap. Your project, you need to go outside into the wild, outside the home or inside your home, take five to six to seven to 10 pictures that overlap and try to repeat that. So see what Photoshop will do with those images automatically in, uh, stitch them together, right? 